Hey everyone, um, welcome back to the lipstick pig room, <laughs> also known as my future Etsy processing center. Uh, this is episode three. In the last two episodes, I emptied it, put the um, fabric on the ceiling, painted uh, the walls, the basement walls that are unfinished with the special waterproof basement uh, paint in bright white and I assemble the two shelves. Uh, they're still here. I'm going to move them out eventually as I'm finishing this room. And today I'm doing sheetrock and I'm actually pretty excited. If you're on Facebook and Instagram, you probably already saw the little post that I did. I was originally or initially going to go to the Home Depot as usual to go get sheetrock and the compound because I finished my compound when I was doing my bedroom upstairs. Um, I needed to buy all that stuff and I decided to go to Facebook marketplace lo and behold one town over a guy had leftover sheetrock and compound that he was willing to sell to me for 20 bucks and <laughs> this morning I sold $25 worth of Facebook marketplace stuff myself that were all street finds so I'm back home now with three well two and a half sheets of fireproof sheetrock and about two and a half gallon worth of compound for free and I got an extra five bucks in profit so yeah <laughs> it's uh it's a good thing um so budget all right whenever you can you budget um for small projects like this Facebook marketplace is awesome you're gonna find leftover paint you know like flat ceiling paint you'll find leftover you'll find um Leftover garage floor paint, leftover plaster, sheetrock, wallpaper, you name it. So the goal today is to do the sheetrock, which I'm really not looking forward to because I didn't enjoy that process when I did my closet upstairs. Granted, it was my first time. So I don't know. Um, I just got to do it. Okay. I'm going to try to do the least amount of seams possible. Um... I only have like that big one panel and then a little bit above the door and a little bit over there and I'm actually thinking about the little bit over there finishing it off all the way to the wall because we really don't do anything over there um, you know and then I'll put the tape I'll put the compound joint compounds where it needs to be placed and we'll let it dry yesterday I went to the thrift store shocker <laughs> for the purpose of finding sheer curtain panels and I did find four sheer curtain panels and I'm lucky because they were on grommets um, so they've been in the wash so 20 bucks worth of sheer curtain panels there's going to be two here and two over there and it's just to finish off the sides and kind of like make it less ugly um, you know lipstick pig I bought on Amazon um, curtain rods the least expensive ones they're gonna go underneath here so the curtains will be going all the way down and same thing over there and I also got um, peel and stick paper and I thought about colors I want it bright but I don't want it all white so here's the color I picked and it's going to be pink because pig, right? And then this pink and purple on the ceiling. So that's perfect. So once the sheetrock is dry and sanded, I'm not going to cover it like I did my closet. Um, I don't particularly care if it's not super flat. Again, this whole wall is eventually going to come off anyway. Um, I'll do the paper and then after that it's just basically the dresser the floor um, the frame around the door and organizing cubbies shelves and stuff bringing the inventory over and we'll do a dry run see how that works okay let me go get the sheetrock and get started
So two sheet rock, I have uh, this wall right here. It's not high, it's 74. So clearly I'm gonna have to cut off uh, one end. And I have a feeling that it's gonna stop just about here, so I'll have to put another piece here, uh, which will go all the way up to the edge there. So I'll have to cut out, I have to take the um, plate off and I'll have to cut out a hole for um, the switch and, you know, me and measurements, right? So that'll be one. And then I have to do the top right here and the area here that goes all the way down. And again, this one, I'm gonna go all the way up to the end. Then at some point I'll do the door frame. Um, and usually when you get a floor to do, you do your floor after you sheet rock everything and then you install your boards. Um, my floor is going to be different, so I don't know if I'm going to do that, install the floor and then the boards, or if I'm just going to go ahead and put the boards and install the floor. Um, I'll see. Um, you know, I mean, it's not a big deal. Ideally, I would level the floor, you know, with that. Um, it's like a very liquidy concrete. I forgot the name of it. Um, you just let it run and it settles on its own and it makes it level but I can't do that because of the drain and the sump pump over there and plus it would create um, a rise right here before you go into the basement so the actual basement so let's get started let me go get my sheet rock and everything I need I have the screws the drill the compound uh, the trolls pretty much covered everything. I don't think I need to buy anything else. They put shims here and here. Obviously, I can't remove those. That's for the door uh, frame. So the ship rock will have to stop. Hmm. So I need to get a white frame for the door. Uh, 45. to the top uh, hopefully it's level so just in case it's not that would be 76 so the sheet rock is 4 by 8 so that's 48 by 96 so I'm gonna have to remove a tiny bit on one side and about um, a little bit over a foot on the top I'm going to do that outside actually instead of doing it downstairs because it's messy um, and that way I don't have to carry them. Well, more than I should. something I told you it wasn't level right look I can't I can't fit it over there because the floor is not level it's higher on that side so what I need to do is cut uh, a big portion of this like well let me see Not by much. Uh, what is that? An inch and a half? 
That's a big dip. I need to know how I feel on that. Let me get my level. You know, they have a, uh, I don't know how you call it, it's like a special tool um, that you put over the box on the inside and it's got a spike and then you push your sheetrock over it and the spike comes out and that allows you to make the template. I am buy that for one plug, one switch, so I'm doing outline of it but I'm gonna cut a little bit more on the inside so that the plate can rest over the sheet rock. Does that make sense? Oh, I don't know. It's the first time I do this so we'll see how that works. thing is that I might need oh man we're just making it I might need longer screws oh that's not working out at all how do they do this they have to have something to move it forward how do they do this yeah because the switch is all the way inside I gotta think they must have a lift. You know, you unscrew this. What do you call this? There would be an extension of, wait, don't go anywhere. An extension of sorts, right? I'm gonna think about that. Let me go online and find out. I think you can buy, um, Let's look for electric switch box extension. Yeah, because this is all the way in. Did I get shit rock that's too thick? Yeah, that's fine. No, it's it's going in. They didn't put in the box extension because it's flush to the box did you finish the wall that would make sense now let me find out here you go it's called outlet extender buddy so basically what you do is that you take those little um they look like anchors right and then you put them here right and you cut them when they come to the edge right and then you take your plate you take your screw and you put the extender over it and you screw it in. Well, they give you screws. Do they give you screws? I say it comes with the longer screws and that's how you do it. These are from Spacers. Arrives tomorrow by 5 p.m. Okay, so I got this done. I gotta get my um, drill and my screws and I have to mark where the studs are and we're gonna screw that in. Where are the studs? So I don't know if you can tell but I marked 
one stud here, one stud here, one there. I'm probably going to start with screwing the one on top here and the one at the bottom um, so that way it's holding. Now I'm going to do the top here and the top over there. Um, but I tell you what though, I don't know if they did it on purpose, uh, but a full sheet of sheet rock fits that one panel. I only had to cut a little bit. So this is good because I don't have to do the tape and, you know, the other stuff. Um, I'll just paint it with the flat. Okay. I'm totally off on the plug. <laughs> I'm gonna have, thank God, I got my little piece. What did I do with it? Somewhere around here, this. I'm gonna have to cut another piece and add it here and cut a little bit more here. I'm off. <sighs> I don't care. I'll redo it. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to make sure that this was leveled to the frame, um, but I'm encountering some issues are not my issues. This part right here is actually forward compared to some of the um, studs. So it's not that it's making it buckle or anything, it's just that it's hard to get the screw in because it's a little bit longer in some areas compared to uh, the top. But anyway, I don't know if that makes sense. It's holding it forward. I need longer screws. How could they screw this up so bad? All right, let me go see Frank. I need um, longer sheet box screws. Just when you thought this was going to be a 20 minute project. <laughs> So what do you do when things like that happens? Um, you take a break, you refresh. I'm really hot right now. It's really humid in Jersey. It's about 90 degrees outside today. Um, I'm gonna dust myself off, have a big glass of water, eat something, and I'm gonna go to my local hardware store and I'm gonna get longer screws because this whole guessing work, it's just not fitting in um, the screws that I have are just barely bigger than the half inch here, so I need longer screws. That way, you know, I'm not struggling. Uh, plus, I'll probably need them at some other point. Am I going to be here all day? I really don't have much to do after that. It's just those two pieces. Mm -hmm. That should be like a no-brainer, right? This was technically the hardest part. The door frame is about... Um, three inches on the other side. I'll try to match that. I'll be back. Well, I just got sidetracked for about 90 minutes. Um, I went to the store and I passed by band, you know, because it's been season. And I decided to watch Willie uh, at rehearsal. I don't think I'm going to need that. I'm not going to recut it, but I did buy a mesh thing. So, stop by band rehearsal. Because, you know, band competition is starting, right? And um, I decided to sit down and watch, make sure he saw that I was there. I think it's important to show up. Um, I don't know. I just feel like if you can do it as a parent, it's worth it because it builds trust and bond with your kid. Uh, anyway, so I enjoyed it, but now it's four o'clock and I need to get moving. Okay, these are much, much longer.
right, let's see what kind of new challenge <laughs> is awaiting me this time. And of course it doesn't fit. Uh, wait. Why am I not fitting? Oh, these darn cables. Yeah, it's the cables. I'm off by like two weeks. Okay, so no joke, it's really like putting lipstick on a pig. Wow, all right, this was rough. Um, I just finished cleaning everything. So I have this wall done, right? And then I have the top of the door done. And then this one is a patchwork. I'm gonna tell you why. Um, because pipes at the bottom then wall, right? So I had to make a hole for the pipes. And then there's that little thing here that I wasn't even gonna try to do the angle. Okay, so there's this square. And guess what? In the laundry room, it's exactly the same way. The guy who built the wall over there did the same thing. Now, here's what's really bizarre because I know it's an old house, but why, why is this flush to the door here it's the same thickness of sheetrock right but over here this is what i got same thickness um i don't know how they built this there's areas where you can see where it's thin 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 and then boom it gets um and i put a screw there maybe i'll put another one uh, it gets thick again so i'm trying to think like how am i going to do the door frame um no idea i gotta think about it but right now i'm going to take a break and when i come back i'm going to do uh the spackle scheming is what they call it right and then fix this with with this the wall patch maybe i'll start with that and then all the screws are a tiny bit in the sheetrock, so I can cover. But again, if it's not uh, super straight, don't care. Don't care at all. It's wallpapered, and I just want it to look clean, neat. This is probably going to insulate the wall a little bit more going into the um, main room. Uh, all right. Whew, I need a break. I'll be back. Uh so yeah it's uh, a little bit humid <laughs> um i'm sitting on the bucket of um compound plan b is where i'm at uh i need to come up with plan b the dresser this one that i had picked from costway is out of stock so i had to pick another one and i picked this one which actually is much prettier <laughs> this is a real dining but the problem is that it's 10 inches longer than the original one so it's 53 and a half i only have 53 from the wall i just sheet rocked to the other wall against the tank so clearly it's not going to fit unless i kind of like really try to squeeze it i don't know maybe it will i doubt it will um i was planning on putting another piece of wood on top of it to make it a little bit wider because it's only 17 inches. It's not a lot to pack. So since I was gonna drill stuff on top, maybe I can remove the two parts, you know, that are on the side, but what am I gonna do if I want this buffet later on, right? The other solution is to put a shelf against um, the sheet rocked wall, the other one right behind me where it was initially, and then I'll put the buffet right here against the naked wall because it fits there. And I still have access to a sump pump if I do that, by the way, which is not a bad deal. My issue with it is that it's really ugly facing. <laughs> I mean, really ugly facing. It's the wall 
from the basement and I had no intention to drill into it to put any kind of shelving so I'll have to figure out something and the only thing I can come up with is try to maybe like put a hutch over it since I'm gonna put a bigger surface I could maybe use some of the wood I have in the garage and build a hutch so that way I can put some stuff on it whether it's uh, uh, you know tape packing material um, I can put artwork no matter what I have the curtains on both sides um, you know to hide as hideaways so that's probably what I'm gonna do um, the plan C if it doesn't work out which it will because I measured it is to just keep the shelving in here bring in the third shelf make this an entire storage area and bring in the buffet by the corner where I used to have the bookcase in the basement and do my wrapping there I don't really want to do that because the wrapping part of it is what bothers me the most not that I don't like doing it but that's what creates chaos and I want to be able to walk away from it and so if I put it in there I'm gonna have to clean up the whole area each time the boxes are gonna be here it's too much back and forth so I think I'm gonna leave it in here and and do some kind of contraption on top to make it less ugly um, why not let's compound all right wool patch uh, prepare the surface apply the patch apply spackle and finish that's it how do you adhere it is it adhesive there's only one patch that's a big patch this thing is really big can you cut it Ah, oh, I see oh I don't know if I can use this I wonder if I can cut it. I'm gonna go with it. It's a little bit too small, but that's all right. All right so I'm gonna move this here a little bit. And I just gotta cut this part right here. You know, not for anything. Uh, I'm perfectly aware that I'm doing everything wrong. These videos are not meant as tutorials, you know that, right? I would have some serious nerve <laughs> if this was a how-to. Because clearly it's not. Maybe it's a how not to. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna work. All right, tomorrow I'll get the extenders. done just a reminder this is all being wallpapered anyway so I'll just sand it buff it a little bit um, clearly if I was painting it I probably would try to get that grid pattern to disappear but it's being wallpapered don't care
you know, it's when you do a job like that that you come to realize that it really is a certain level of skills to do this stuff. I got nothing but admiration for people who do shit wrong. It looks easy, but it is not easy at all. Because I don't even know how much compound I'm supposed to apply. Like, do you put a lot? Do you put on a, a tiny bit? How much do you put on? Are you supposed to put your fingers on it? I don't know. Let's put a little bit more stuff. All right, let's see what happens. I think I got it. I'm not touching it, leaving it alone. You know, when I did my closet, you remember how much of that stuff I put? I covered the whole wall with it. I think it's progress. Um, I just got to sand it lightly tomorrow. And paint it. Okay, folks. Slap some lipstick on it and call it fancy. I got a wall. <laughs> uh, it's not bad, actually. I think it looks pretty good. I'm trying to get as far as I can in the corner. I should have my wide angle um, lens for you, but I don't want to go upstairs. So it's done. Tomorrow, I'm coming in, lightly sanding, painting everything, letting it dry, um, putting the curtains, and wallpaper. That's what I'll do. So that'll be two videos I'm doing tomorrow. Um, for the frame, I still don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to add a piece of wood to level it. And then, or maybe I'll get one of those strips that's like an angle. And then just put the frame over it. Clearly, I got to paint the door. Um, if I put the dresser right here and then a shelf here and the other shelf there, that leaves me this whole corner. So what I'll probably do is create, it's not a lot, it's going to, because the shelf stops here or just about. So I'll do like a, a, a table of sorts, you know, with a flat surface on it. And maybe that's where I'll put my photo booth. That way I have the rest of the surface here uh, on the dresser for packing. And then again, uh, over here is going to be all the cardboard boxes. My only problem is this empty wall here and what I'm going to do with it. I don't know. I don't know if I want to try to drill into this to put some shelving. I see that they have, so I don't see why not. Um, but to be honest, my drill is really not that good when it comes to drilling surfaces like that. Um, all right, let me say goodbye. It was a struggle, okay? It was a struggle. Uh, logistically, it was difficult to bring that big sheet in here, um, you know, from the outside down. That, w that was tough. And then, I don't know, the walls. You know what? I never really... Um, Use the level. The walls are leveled. Hmm. 
the leveled. So what's the issue? Is the issue the door frame? That's leveled. That's leveled. Why is the thickness changing? I pushed the uh, insulation in. So it's not the insulation. There's something going on that I'm not able to get the same thickness. Well, actually I do. You know what I think it is? Oh, not even in the frame. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what I think it is ultimately? I mean, I got the sheet rock for free. I'm not going to complain. Okay. But it probably would have... I would not have this problem if I was getting the sheet rock that was really... Like the drywall that was really thin. Um, I think that's what it is. Because I think they did the frames for that kind of drywall. And then I came in with the fireproof one. <laughs> I have one more sheet left. I used everything else. Um, the one sheet I got and the remnants. So I have one sheet I can use for another project. Anyway, um, so yeah, this was a struggle. It was difficult. Um, it was exhausting. But I did it. And I think the trick with the skimming is using the larger, what do you call it, troll? It's not a troll. We're going to call it a troll. I think using the larger one is, um, is the trick to it. It's better than what I did upstairs. Uh, it's only my second time. And it's better than what I did upstairs in my closet. Because I didn't have to cover the whole thing. I just did the areas that needed to be done. Uh, so I'm happy with it. I think it's going to look good once I have the wallpaper. Too bad I got to put a shelf in front of it. Um, in front of both of actually. But that's alright because you'll see through the shelves anyway. Lipstick pig room. I got to find myself a lipstick pig print and put it on the wall. I don't have any problem saying it. I know what this project looks like to most. <laughs> It, it, it's really what it is. It's a, it's a, a, a dungeon I'm trying to make functional. So it's going to look like lipstick on a pig. And I'm okay with it. Because that's what happens. It's what happens in this room that matters. Not what it looks like. Okay. Give me a thumbs up if you still like this series and the direction I'm going. Uh, I know I didn't open the floor tiles. <laughs> I'll do it in the next video, next two videos. Uh, subscribe in the corner right here. Click the bell button so you get notified when I post a new video. And then Frenchie and Tabby, I didn't post anything yet. I think there's nine items left uh, on Etsy. Channel merch, my great challenge gift, also on Etsy. And to support this channel and the Patreon, you can join my Patreon at patreon.com slash my great challenge for exclusive content not seen on YouTube. Two videos a week, one blog per week, one live per month, sometimes two, and a book club. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.